Well, particularly with single parents, and let's not forget that over 80% single parents are mums as well, so we're talking about women. And so that's quite a lot of dis disenfranchised people. Um, and it's not just single parents, we're talking about carers and families and grandparents who all have logistics around childcare and supporting children. And, you know, perhaps even local Labour councillors who need to get to their 7pm meeting, which, by the way, is the same time as you put your kids to bed. Um, so it's kind of providing that support. And I think if you do that on a grassroots level, it will filter out when you've got the support for the parent. It's empowering. And then you can work on how you provide childcare for the children in a cooperative way. We've got to a point where people have been very disenfranchised with party politics um, and politically quite apathetic, actually. But now, you know, having a place and a platform to actually get involved and actually see change, as we saw on Saturday, that's where we get people involved. Um, and we launched Momentum Kids on Saturday as well. So we did things like the Teddy Bears Mandate to try and um, encourage children to think about the political process and create their own mandates for change. And then even doing a bit of voting with them. So they're kind of, again, through play and activities, building their political literacy. I mean, it's such a cliche, but I'm going to say it anyway. They are the next generation. They are going to be changing the world after we've, you know, sitting on our sofas and not smoking our pipes. So, you know, we need to really engage them and actually start listening to them now so that when it comes to their adulthood, they know that the things that they're thinking, things that they're talking about, can go on to change the world. It's not, you know, otherwise you're, we're already starting another generation of yet another generation of apathetic people. Um, but we're going to change that with Momentum Kids. So, questioning, curious, lots of why, but when, why, what? That's what we want. It's annoying for parents, right. I just, but. <laughs>